In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for BANO3-2 plus K2CO3. This is barium nitrate plus potassium carbonate. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations is balance the molecular equation. As I look at this, I see I have two potassiums here, just one here. Let's put a two in front of the potassium nitrates. That balances the potassium atoms, two nitrates. I have two nitrates here, that's good. I have a barium and a barium, that's balanced, and then a carbonate and a carbonate. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. So these are the states for our net ionic equation. You'll note that nitrates, compounds with the nitrate ion, are very soluble. And compounds with potassium, also very soluble. Carbonates in general are insoluble unless they're with a group one element like potassium. So barium carbonate, that's going to be a solid. That means these two substances will react. Barium carbonate falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So BaCO3, that's our precipitate. Now that we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. Note that we did not split the solid apart here in our net ionic equation. In net ionic equations, we don't split the solid apart. The precipitate here, we keep that together. So at this point, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of our complete ionic equation. If I look at the reactants, I see there's two nitrate ions right here and again in the products. So these are spectator ions. We'll cross these out. Two potassium ions in the reactants and in the products. Spectator ions. We cross them out. What's left? That's the net ionic equation for BaNO3 2 plus K2CO3. Let me clean this up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for barium nitrate plus potassium carbonate. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have two plus, two minus. That balances out, gives us a net charge of zero. And on this side of the equation, we have a neutral compound, net charge of zero. You'll also note that the atoms, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.